Cristiano Ronaldo has won the Ballon d'Or five times, the Champions League five times and the European Championship with Portugal. He appears to have accomplished everything. However, other individuals simply cannot tolerate him, much less like him. What are some of the reasons why people hate him? Today, we're telling you 10 reasons why a fraction of football fans hate the Portuguese player. Starting with number 10, for acting like a prima donna. Calling Cristiano Ronaldo the epitome of a prima donna would likely be an exaggeration given how he conducts himself on the field. He consistently demonstrates his importance and the reason why he deserves to have the spotlight on him. He expects his teammates to give it their all at all times and becomes visibly upset when they don't. Every bad pass and bad judgment that goes against him is met with a visceral sense of dissatisfaction, which tends to irritate people. It is now commonplace to witness Cristiano Ronaldo decline to shake hands with opponents after a loss or receive a yellow card for disobedience. Fans are not the only ones to notice this personality of Ronaldo. Former Red Devils and Tottenham ace Garrett Crooks also called out the Portuguese player to stop acting like a prima donna. Fortunately, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner has the skills to compensate for his outburst on the pitch. Number 9. He Humiliate Journalists The Portuguese player is also known to snub journalists on a regular basis. When Jamie Carragher, 37, interrupted Sky Sports coverage of Manchester United's 2-1 victory against Liverpool, Ronaldo seemed to be ignoring the former Liverpool player. And this isn't the first time that this happened. In 2016, a reporter stopped Ronaldo while he and the Portugal team were taking a morning promenade in France. Instead of responding, Cristiano ripped the reporter's microphone from his hands and flung it into a lake to his left. Number 8. His Mocking Celebrations Ronaldo has also been seen mocking his fellow players on court. Following one of Mohamed Salah's goals in their 5-0 victory, Cristiano Ronaldo may have appeared to make fun of someone. Manchester United supporters believe Cristiano Ronaldo made fun of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's strategies when they were humiliated by Liverpool in 2021. Ronaldo was seen frantically waving his arms at the other players. Some of his followers believe the motions were directed towards his management, even though it is unclear exactly what they were intended to refer to or who they were directed at. Number 7. He always wants to score goals even if they are from penalties. Although it may seem absurd, some people disapprove of Cristiano Ronaldo because he scores too many tap-ins and penalties. These easy goals are disliked by some football fans, who feel that they unfairly boost Ronaldo's stats. In actuality, Cristiano Ronaldo has scored 141 penalties in his career, which is a shockingly high amount. The critics refer to him as Penaldo and he does have a talent for accepting penalties. But making fun of a player of that caliber for it is unheard of. Cristiano Ronaldo, who is entitled to do so, ignores the yells and dispatches each of his penalties with grace, force, and accuracy. Number 6. He simulates fouls and penalties. Even though Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the greatest football players the world has ever seen, he is not the biggest supporter of fair play. He frequently collapses after the smallest bit of contact in an effort to get a penalty. He consistently draws fouls in and around the area because of his quick feet. And no matter how much contact was there, Cristiano Ronaldo always tried to take advantage of it. Many people, including football fans and analysts, condemn his actions as shameful and contend that his dives were detrimental to the spirit of the game. And now let's move on to number 5 which I bet will make you laugh. And if we did, subscribe. Number 5. He has his own hotels full of pictures of himself. In Madeira, Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo debuted a chick football-themed hotel in 2016. There, visitors can unwind by a rooftop infinity pool, work out in an outdoor gym, and take a bath in a space decorated to resemble a football field. Well, this hotel is being reprimanded by several fans because apparently it also houses several photos of the Portuguese player. The Ronaldo murals directly above the beds were one of the oddest aspects of this hotel. Backlighting was used to illuminate the drawings which covered the whole length of the bed. In fact, Ronaldo could be found everywhere in the hotel. 
Nearly every wall was covered in memorabilia, which ranged from signed shirts to newspaper clippings to R-shaped lights to pictures. Number 4. He is a very bad loser Since 2016, when Cristiano Ronaldo disparaged his opponent, Iceland, he has been referred to as a terrible loser and petty. During the Group F match, the Portugal captain criticized Iceland's lack of drive and called them small-minded. Actually, even Ronaldo admits that he can be a petty loser sometimes. Ronaldo acknowledged that he struggles to cope with defeat, but he is unable to change this. I am very competitive and I hate losing. There is no doubt that I have expressed myself badly by saying certain things after losing a match, he stated himself. Number 3. His lack of companionship on the field Ronaldo is also being criticized by soccer fans because apparently he is not a team player. He has never been interested in assisting. Since FBREF.com began tracking Cristiano Ronaldo's statistics on their website, the most league assists he ever collected in a single season was 16, which he earned while playing for Real Madrid in the 2014-2015 season. He went on to score a total of 40 goals from 35 La Liga appearances throughout the season. The fact that he only had two assists brings up the frequently asked question, does he really play for himself? so that he may continue to set records and score more goals. Number 2. He likes to show off his abs left and right As he frequently lifts his shirt during games to display his abs, Cristiano Ronaldo demonstrated that he is still in excellent shape. Given that, let's face it, that kind of figure requires a lot of work. This can just be Ronaldo celebrating or merely showcasing his hard work. Some fans, however, are not pleased with this. Some individuals believe that Ronaldo's ego is the only reason he does this. On number 1, we have his arrogance. Ronaldo is arguably the most arrogant soccer player of all time, as seen by his diving, his varied hand gestures, and his remarks. He either flails around like a fish out of the water or raises his hands in the air as if he merits a free kick whenever he misses a tackle. It is doubly irritating to watch from home since, in addition to frequently disrupting the match's flow, his diving and injury faking also detract from his skill as a football player. Fans are not the only ones who notice this attitude of Ronaldo's. Dani Alves of Barcelona, who is hardly the most humble people of himself, concurs that Ronaldo's arrogance undermines his immense talent. To be the best player in the world, you cannot just play well. You must also be liked by other people and I understand that his attitude ends up hurting a little the great player that he really is. He would be a complete joy to watch if he would remove that foolishness from his playing. Fans like watching the top players in the world perform incredible feats with the game of football that we never imagined were possible. The 36-year-old Real Madrid star's impressive resume is one of the best in the business. But it's important to remember that despite appearing to have it all, he still has flaws. Well, what do you think of Ronaldo? Do you think he deserves the hate that is being thrown at him? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.